Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain the lesson again. As you can see, the title of the lesson is where can we find water? So we have to know how to answer this question after what after we finish the lesson. So in this lesson, you learn about the many different sources of water on Earth. Let us see what we'll have here. Okay, we have to know that we use water every day and there are some ways that people use water. So we have to click the pictures to look at some of the ways we can use or we use water. So let us see the first one. As you can see here, people use boats uh, to write them on water as they flow. You can see they are on the water surface, not inside it, on it, okay? So people use it to, so they can ride in boats, okay? And plants need water to live and grow. And as you can see here, the girl is planting the flowers. So it is, or she is using water to water plants. And here we have to know that ice is frozen water and people ice skate to have fun. So ice is what? Frozen water. So this can be another usage or use of water. And people also swim inside water or in water. And it is a fun thing to do. So we have to know that we can use or we use water to swim in it, okay? And we have the drinking part that people drink water to keep their bodies healthy. And we have to drink water regularly so we can keep our bodies healthy, okay? And healthy means like to be uh, or to prevent ourselves from uh, being or getting ill or sick. And also we have another way, another usage or use. It is people or it is that people cook with water. People can boil things in water and people can make soups in water, as you can see here. Okay, so let us see what we have next. Okay, all living things need water to survive, as you can see, or to stay alive. And people and other animals need water. Without enough water, our bodies won't grow healthy and we'll be sick. And plants have to take in water through their roots to keep them healthy. As we took in the first semester, I told you guys that roots are placed inside the soil. And soil, what? Okay, gets water. Then after getting water, the roots take in soil and nutrients from it, then give it or move it to the plant. Okay. Okay. So let us see here. Okay. Here we have the bodies of water. As I told you guys that streams, rivers, lakes, and oceans are examples of bodies of water that are found where in nature. So we have to click the pictures on the right to find out more about each one. This one is what is a small body of flowing water. I told you guys, flowing water means that the water moves from one place to another. It doesn't stay in one place. And as you can see here, we have a stream. It is a small body because it is not big, as you can see, or large. And we call a small body of water a stream, okay? The second one is a river. And it is different than the stream. It is a large body of flowing water. And as you can notice that it is different than the stream because the stream here is a small and here it is large, okay? And we have a lake. Okay, this lake is a closed area. Closed area means that it has land all around it. And we, okay, the water does not move from one place to another, pay attention to that, okay? So it is, a body of water with land all around it. And we have to know that a lake comes, okay, maybe the lake can be big or small, depends. Oh yeah, before we move to the ocean, we have to know that the lake does not have flowing water, okay? Okay, an ocean is a large body of salty water, okay? It doesn't have any fresh water because Okay, as you can see, oceans and seas, 
have what? Have salty water. Can we drink the water immediately from seas and oceans? No, we can't because it's too salty. It has salt in it, okay? These are what these are called the bodies of water. And we have to know um, that some, okay, we have to know that water may be dangerous, okay? So we have to know that we have to be careful while using things. We can't touch boiling water, as you can see here. We can't touch it. And here we might slip, or we may slip when we uh, go ice skating or ice skiing, okay? And also, if the water is dirty, we can't drink it because it may cause illness. Unless you know it is clean for sure. And water can be very dangerous for those who can't swim. So we have to know, or we have to be next to a, a lifeguard or we should learn to swim as early as we can. Okay, and we can't put um, electronics in water because it may cause something that may cause death, okay? So we have to be careful that water may be dangerous. Okay, what kinds of things can you do to make sure you use water safely? Now we have to know something. Okay, drag each picture to the safety rule that matches it. So what do you think this one has to be with what, which one? Okay, hold on. This one, I think it has to be with this one. Yes, because uh, both are using what are using um, bo boats, but we have to wear life jackets if we don't know how to swim because we might, or we may, okay, fill or fall in the water, sorry. Okay, another one, this one, I think it has to be with this one, okay, yes. The water has to be clean, not dirty, and we have to make sure of that, okay. <laughs> okay, this girl uh, was ice kissed, oh, okay, was, ice skating and or skating on the ice and it has to be this one i guess yes this one she has to know how to skate okay if the swimming thingy needs to have a lifeguard yes and this one has to be with this one okay because we have to use something in order to prevent ourselves from getting burnt because of boiling water okay And now we have to answer this question. What are some dangers of water? We have, okay, what do you think? Illness, burning, using electric appliances around water or swimming alone. I think all of them, okay. All of them are what? Okay, let's see, yes. All of them are dangers of water, okay? And let us see the text or the following thingy. Okay, how do people use water? You can, okay, this, this, is a, this is a question that you have to answer according to what, to your understanding of the lesson. So we can drink water. We can use boats that float. Okay, we can um, swim, right? Or swimming, let us see, or no swim. Okay, what else? We can cook with water. Okay, yes, some ways to use water are for washing, swimming, and drinking. Okay, you might have thought of some other ways too. And let us see the end or the last one, the end of it. Okay, let's see what they'll tell us. Okay, so now we have to think about what we learned about water. All living things need water to survive and living things mean uh, things that or living things are um, these things that breathe, grow, change, eat, okay? 
And streams, rivers, lakes, and the oceans are sources of water found on Earth. More of Earth's surface is covered in water than land. Okay, this is an important one because we have to know that water is, or you, we can find more water on Earth's surface than the land, okay? Water comes from, okay, hold on. From many natural and human-made sources. And it is important to be safe around water because water may be dangerous. And that's it for uh, this lesson. And now we have to do page, hold on, let me check the page and tell you. Okay. And now we have to do page uh, 236, okay? It is homework or it is gonna be homework after this video or, or after you watch this video. And if you have any questions about this lesson, don't, okay. Don't be shy and ask me, okay?